good morning. Since we're already here, we can as well start as earlier than the time. A welcome to everyone joining us today online. This is Chadron United Methodist Church. And those of you visiting with us, we welcome you. We appreciate your presence. Uh, today is dedicated to singing to the Lord, so I want you to prepare yourself. Uh, just a few announcements. Let's take an announcement from the United Methodist men. Good morning. Um, the announcement is that uh, the United Methodist Men is uh, sponsoring on October 2nd, which is a Saturday at Camp Norweska, a get together from 10 to 3. Um, so uh, this includes um, anybody from this church that wants to come, as well as United Methodist Men from the uh, Panhandle. And so we invite everybody there. We're going to have some speakers. Um, Hopefully we're going to have a, a, a talk about teams mate. We're going to have uh, Nebraska Game and Parks there and um, a couple others that are not quite confirmed yet. Uh, we're gonna have a noon meal, so United Methodist Men, please come and join us October 2nd, 10 to 3 at Camp Norweska. Thank you so much. And also don't forget, uh, September 15th, we'll be having a rally Sunday after church I've been asked to inform you on that day, you can actually wear your, you know, the best sports team you, you support, you wear their t-shirt and come. That would be nice. I kind of want to watch the different rivalry groups within the congregation. And so please come, we're going to be having chicken and talking about the various uh, Sunday school classes we're going to be having. Any other announcements we need to be aware of? Of course, please do sign in. Uh, today so that we know you, you are around, so there is a, something you can sign in with, welcome pad, you can sign in. And then we'll continue to prepare for our church conference on Saturday, November 6th at Alliance United Methodist Church. Haven't said that. Any other announcements? Okay, let's just stand as we do our call to worship. Together. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise God for his mighty deeds. Praise God with trumpet sound. Praise God with tambourine and dance. Praise God with sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessing to the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we're grateful to you for bringing us to your house today. The psalmist says, in your presence is the fullness of joy, and at your right hand, pleasures forevermore. So we ask that your presence will be with us as we begin this service today, as we sing songs, as we remember songs that we we sang when we were young and children. And as we minister to you, may you minister back to us. We ask for your spirit to be with us. Empower all those that will be singing and give us grace that we may listen well to the words of those songs and that we may be ministered to. We give you praise and thanks. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, in our midst. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. And as we continue, I just want to remind you, the wordings of those songs are very important. So just listen and be blessed. Jane and I are going to be singing uh, Tis the Old Time Religion, and uh, some of you may know it as Give Me That Old Time Religion. It is in the public domain. It is said to be a jubilee song. Uh, it was sung by many different groups of people, and we do not know who the author is, so we are, and verses are very different. You'll find different verses in different places. 
So. This song is called A Beautiful Home. It was uh, recorded by Hank Williams Sr. <laughs> Test. I get it. There's a beautiful home far over the sea. There are mansions of bliss for you and for me. For oh, the beautiful home. a beautiful home far over the sea. There's a beautiful home for you and for me. And it's glittering power, the sun outshines. And that beautiful home someday will be mine. beautiful home a crown I shall wear when 
a glorified throne that glory to share but the joy of that home can never be known till a savior we see upon his white throne there's a beautiful home far over the sea there's a beautiful home for you and for beautiful home for you and for me and it's glittering power the sun outshines and that beautiful home someday will be mine We continue in our service uh, today. I also want to again welcome all those who are joining us online. Uh, there was an announcement I didn't make. On the 4th of September, Glenn and Vicky are inviting us to come celebrate their 60th wedding anniversary. And I jokingly said that by 1 o'clock, I'm going to be doing a renewal of Val. I just want to find out if Vicky is still going to be following this guy that is, you know, watching me every time. So it's going to be a wonderful time, just a brief one. It's going to be an informal gathering, but it's going to be a celebration of their love for each other. So please, we're all invited. For, it's going to be at the state park. Uh, so please, just get there. Let's go celebrate them. We have a few uh, prayers that we've had already. Yesterday, the prayer warriors met and prayed over some of them but we continue to pray. So please, as you leave today, you will see some of these, and you can take them home. Do not write Walmart shopping list behind it. Take them home and pray about the prayer needs that we do have. I don't know if there's anything that has changed, but we have most of it written down. As Sue sends our thanks to the church for praying, I'm told that Haiti West will be released from the hospital today, coming home, and she's grateful to various people praying at the Catholic Church, different churches, and people praying in the community. And that's what we're supposed to be praying for one another. Uh, yes, so let us pray. Lord, we give you praise and thank this morning for bringing us to your house again. We want to remember those who are in need of prayers. We continue to pray for Rod Rickenberg. He's in church this morning, but he's recovering, so we pray that God we continue to heal fast recovery. We pray for the friend for Kelly, who has been diagnosed with cancer, her boss and friend. We pray, oh God, that you will give wisdom to doctors and you will help them and help us specifically at this time of need. We continue to remember Randy Lawson as having some heart issues and we pray that as I see the doctors this week, that it will be good news and things will be getting better. We also pray for Doralee as she travels and for Randy's daughters who will be staying here with him. We thank you for Heidi West as the surgery has been completed. We pray that the healing will continue. We pray for those who are battling with cancer at this time. At this time, we want to remember the Afghan people, but also more importantly, those who have lost people in our military this past week, families, that are in grief at this moment. We pray that you will comfort them, O oh God, that you will give wisdom to the leadership of our nation to know what to do with this issue. Lord, we ask as people prepare for Hurricane Ida today in the afternoon, 
especially in Louisiana and the coastal areas. We pray for wisdom. We pray for courage so that people can move when it is necessary to move and relocate when they need to relocate. We pray that you, God, will keep people safe from this hurricane. We also pray for those who are struggling with the fires in California at this time. And for all those who have lost loved ones in recent times as they adjust to new life without them, we pray for our community, we pray for our church, we pray for our country, we pray for our friends that are visiting with us today in church, that you will give them your blessings and the blessings of our church. As we continue in this praise service where we will sing, may you speak your word to us. We ask all this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, or deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The next song that we're going to sing, um, I remember from Little House on the Prairie, uh, but you only got to hear about two lines of it because the show had to go on. Um, but this was written by W.O. Cushing in 1866. It's called Ring the Bells of Heaven. So please stand if you're able, and if you don't think you have a good voice, it doesn't make any difference. Please sing with us. Ring the Bells of Heaven. Yeah, please remain standing. This next song is Michael Rowe, The Boat Ashore. It is a uh, pre, actually pre-Civil War song. There was probably 20 to 30 verses to this song. 
um, because the slaves changed them in order to let the people, the let slaves know exactly where to go and where not to go. But eventually somebody wrote it down and we ended up uh, with um, this, the, uh, the message that we have today. So please sing along. Michael rolled the boat ashore, hallelujah. Michael rolled the boat ashore, hallelujah. Sister helped to trim the sail, hallelujah. Sister helped to trim the sail, hallelujah. morning. This reading is from Luke chapter 15, verses 7, 8, 20, and 32. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. But we had to celebrate and be glad, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. The next song is This Little Light of Mine. Um, I see we do have some kids, but I want to see how many adults can remember the mannerisms that go with this song. So, Vicki, you led us a little out at Camp Norweska, so uh, please stand if you're able and join us in This Little Light of Mine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Oh no. 
it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Shine it all over Shadron. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine it all over Shadron. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine it all over Shadron. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine all the time. Thought there was a reading, sorry about that. Um, this is a song that was written by Anna Warner and William Bradbury. Um, it's uh, as a children's song. However, I think there is, as Tunde said, if you listen to the words to this, I think there's one or two messages that maybe adults can get out of it as well as children. So uh, Joelle is gonna accompany us, uh, please. Uh, let us sing on loud voices. Jesus loves me, this I know.
It was no mistake when they asked me to read instead of sing, so. <laughs> the first verse I'm going to read is from 2 Corinthians verses, uh, chapter 5, verse 18. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. And then from Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 through 5. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. This number promised land is a southern harmony and it is arranged by James D. Kimball and we have a lot of music that has been arranged by this gentleman and so even with only eight bells it sounds pretty full and we enjoy playing his numbers.
those tears I dyed. Your goodness so great, I can't understand it. And dear Lord, I know that all this was planned. I know you're here now and always will be. Your love loosed my chains. In you I'm free But Jesus, why me? And Jesus said, come to the water Stand by my side I know you are thirsty You won't be denied And I felt every tear when in darkness you cried, and I strove to remind you that for those tears I died. Jesus, I give you my heart and my soul. I now know without God I'd never be whole. Savior, you opened all the right doors. Thank you, and I praise you from earth's humble shore. Take me on yours. And Jesus said, come to the water, stand by my side. I know you are thirsty. Won't be denied. I felt every tear drop when in darkness you cried, and I strove to remind you that for those tears I died. The third reading this morning is from the book of Psalm 29, 1 to 11. Ascribe to the Lord, you heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The, the Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars, the Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, Syrian like a wild, young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the deserts. The Lord shakes the deserts of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists the oaks and strips the forest bare. And he, in his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the floor. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. The next song that the congregation is going to help sing is Down by the Riverside. Uh, again, we do not know the author. It is a uh, pre-Civil War African-American spiritual. Um, one thing to keep in mind, um, I mentioned that uh, these verses changed um, because uh, the slaves needed to change what they could do and what they couldn't do. Um, the same goes with this song. The other thing, the other intent behind all of these uh, Civil War songs uh, was that um, these slaves... Um, wanted to make sure that God heard them. 
And so they put their, their, they put their sounds, their thoughts, and their concerns uh, into song. So please stand if you're able and join us down by the riverside. <laughs>
This next song actually comes from Little House on the Prairie as well for my memory. You can tell what I watched and liked as a child. This was another song that they sang in church, but again, you only heard two lines because uh, it was only a short show. So, uh, Bringing in the Sheaves, written by Noel Shaw in 1874. It's now our time to give our offerings and tithes and donations. Uh, for those of you who are online, as usual, you can send in your check. You can go online to shadowunitedmethodist.org and you can give your offerings. This is time. <laughs>
Father, we're grateful to you for the opportunity to give to you out of the abundance you've given us. May you receive us and receive our offerings. Bless these offerings and may they be used for your glory. We pray for other people who have given online and have sent in checks that you will bless the same. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Stanfield. It was recorded by many, many people in the country, pop, bluegrass, gospel um, renditions, uh, anywhere from uh, uh, Hank Williams Sr. to Elvis Presley recorded this song. And now Kelly's going to sing it. I'm satisfied with just a cottage below. A little silver and a little gold But in that city where the ransomed will shine I want a gold one, that silver line I've got a mansion just over the hilltop In that bright land where we'll never grow old streets that are pure as gold don't think me poor or deserted or lonely i'm not discouraged i'm heaven bound i'm just a pilgrim in search of a city i want a mansion a harp in the crown i've got a just over the hilltop in that bright land where we'll never grow old and someday yonder we will never more wander but walk the streets that are pure as gold but walk the streets that are pure as gold
This song uh, was written by Corporal Curtis Stewart. Um, couldn't find a day, uh, a year that this was written. Uh, this song is called Lord Build Me a Cabin in Glory Land. Hang on, guys. I don't think I got it yet. younger than most of the people who sang today, so I have the tendency to shout. I'll sing your praise in the morning time. Yo 
just like to thank everybody who sang today. Thank you for the people who, who um, make this service what it is by helping us uh, stream it live, helping with the PowerPoint, accolades, everybody, Stephanie for running sound, and thank you for you singing. I hope today that you had the opportunity to either hear um, um, or be able to sing a song that you hadn't heard in a long time. So uh, I hope I hope you enjoyed today. Our last hymn is a hymn called Lord, I'm Coming Home. It was written by William Kirkpatrick in 1892. There were two messages with this song. Um, one of the reasons that William wrote this song was because he had a friend that was a renowned uh, sinner. Uh, that's a nice way of putting it. And he was concerned about what was happening to his friend. The other part of this song is there were some thoughts that William had as to what might help his friend. One of those thoughts and messages was, no matter how far you roam from God, all you have to do is open up your arms and he will come back to you and get you on the straight and narrow way. And um, that's a wonderful message and it may be even more wonderful in perhaps today's world and that's all I'll say about that. So um, anyway, please stand if you're able and join us in Lord, I'm coming home. I've wandered far away from home. Now I'm coming home. The path of sin too long I've tried. Lord, I'm coming home. I've waited. 
you so much, Jack. Thank you so much, the group. Wonderful group. We, we, we want to continue this, but uh, we'll have it again. And thank you for the choir that I've already kicked off. If you need to join the choir, please come join the choir on Wednesday. Handbell Choir, thank you so much. Wonderful. I'd like to appreciate every one of you receive this benediction. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up the light of his countenance and grant, grant you his peace. And the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you.